you make this blocky thing and the computer software converts it into this. It converts it by force. You can do as high as you want. This is for absolute beginners to how to make a simple, simplistic high health shoe. Now it's time for the shoes. Don't know what I'm clicking? Down left. Zoom out, let's go to add mesh shoe. And make sure you go to edit mode. Get middle mouse button, alt to snap into views. Hold down Z, go into wireframe. S to scale, then control to do like measurements to snap. Then um, dot on the numpad to zoom in on the object. Make sure you have this selected and this selected. All right, and just do G, just move it around. Oh, right here-ish. Kind of pan it out. About right there. Then after that, I'm gonna add control R in the middle. And like this, this. Hold down shift to select stuff. And middle mouse button just to move around like that. All right. Then I'm going to do E right here. Make sure you have these up high, these down low. Make sure you also have this one selected. E in the middle. S, Z, E right here. S, Z, kind of like flash it out. E right here, S, Z. All right, and make sure you have edge select on and just kind of make sure everything pans out. If you don't have a good foot, then you can just do shoe all by itself. And just kind of move everything in. GG. GG. All right, just like this, then or F. Wait a minute, we can't do that yet. Okay, we're going to do click this E. Right click, click go. Put it up to about here. Then click this, this F, this, this F. All right, and just push it out about here-ish. And we want it to pop out from the sides a little bit because I'm gonna show you later on of how to fix that. We want it tight to the foot-ish. Just kind of curve it in. All right. All right, now time to add some modifiers. Let's click add modifier, add mirror. Make sure you have these selected. Minimize it right here. Add modifier, solidify. So we add some thickness in here. I'll make sure you um, do A, select the whole thing. Alt, N, calculate outside. Okay, good. It's all on the inside. Make sure you have this selected and this. Minimize it. Add modifier, and we're going to add subdivision surface. See, made smooth. Make sure you have this selected. So that's side two. Let's see. Make sure you slash the numpad. You see how these are freaking out? That means something's connected. It was not supposed to be connected. So click this. Oh, faces in here. Duh. Okay. This, this. X faces. Okay. See how it looks good? It looks good now. All right, slash the numpad to bring the body back like this. And just once we see how it wrecked it a little bit and just. Just like kind of bring it out, not too much though, but a little bit. All right. I could do nothing. Control. R. Add one right here and right click to let go. And now to see is we see a we are forming alt and see with these mixture is kind of forms around the foot and it has a good curve. Do slash in the numpad, do from the top view. 
See, see, kind of curve it out, make it look nice. The problem with you adding another loop cut makes it harder. So I'll click this and X and just edge just so. Oh, bleh. see, just so you can kind of get it's like this. A general shape of how you like the foot, if that makes any sense. After that, slash the numpad. And we're going to try to match the foot, but if it really doesn't look good, actually it's looking better. All right, slash the numpad. And um, control R, add them right here. Then just start to make sure it doesn't clip through. See that? You want it floating a little bit? All right. Then Alt click this. Alt S to put it out a little bit. As you can see, it kind of curves out everything, making it bulge a little bit. We want that bulge. See, as you can see, it looks good to have the bulge. This is like these S to scale. We want to start to get small right here. It's supposed to be the hill. It's supposed to get skinnier underneath. Let's see. We actually don't want this too much. We want this natural shape. All right, add this back on. As you can see, it's forming. Don't worry about under here. I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. All right. And just like this. Let's see. The feet are a little long up front. So I'm going to do faces. Select this. And select this. And kind of just push it all back a little bit. About right here ish. And now click this. The feet, uh, toes are popping out. I'm going to figure out how to fix that later. If it's doing on your character, because I just want the, the shoes to look good. Slash the numpad. Then you get to see the shoes are forming. Just slash the numpad again. All right, click this. And now it's time to form the rest. You got to make sure you have the whole bottom one selected. Then E, right click, let go. Push it. Make sure you have this off and just kind of push it down about right there. All right, it is forming. And see, so select these. E, right click, let go. Right click, let go. Uh, S, Z, zero. Make sure you select all the bottom right here. S, Z, zero. And the reference doesn't always fly everywhere. And see, let's click these. This S to scale, about right there. Then after that, we can now shift E. That sharpens it. You right click, you can do circle. Let's see. It's doing the thing again where it's S, Y. Something is wrong. Just slash on a notepad. Do this. Okay, I think I know what's wrong. Don't, don't panic about it. All right, fix that later. Slash numpad. Oh, if you don't have loop tools, go to add. Go to preferences, add-ons, and just type in loop right there. All right. So we just select this. Alt, select this. Shift, E. And what we did is we made it nice and sharp. And do the same thing right here. Shift E. And I'll oh, make sure you have this selected as well. And these. Just hold down Shift and uh, left click. Then that. Now it's sharp. Make sure you select these. Shift E. Nice and sharp. And do these down here if you want to. Make it really sharp right there. That's if you want to, though. Kind of push it back. Stay like that. Depends on what you want. And have these th these be selected. Shift E. Okay. Now let's see. 
S Y file right here to give it that sharp, sharp look right there. And stuff is forming. It's like these. Make sure this one selected S to kind of bring in the curves of it shrinking. Then yeah, it is forming. And let's see slash on a numpad. E. Oh, again, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna have it match these, and if it doesn't look good, I'm gonna go back to the other option. Let's see. And click this and give it a good look around. Um, control Z. I'm I'm just going back and forth. A lot of times you just see what works and what doesn't work. I actually like like that more. So I'm just gonna get out of here and affect the body itself. Let's go edit mode and just select this. Make sure you have this selected and. Going on the blue, make sure this is up. Oh, there's a better, let's see, let's click this. Let's select this, because this is going to be like affecting around everything in there. I don't want too much though. Just tap it in. All right, slash the numpad, dot button, and see if it looks good. And it does not. He looks weird. Just like these. Just push him back a little bit. Oh no, now it's just now foot tutorial. A whole nother can of worms. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm gonna have to fix it again. Oh, I hate doing feet. It's one of the hardest things to do. A lot of people felt feet. Let's see, and I'll push it back. Just look at your own foot. It's easier if you're a woman, since it's a woman's foot. It really do look at your foot. I don't focus on feet that much because I just put shoes on. And let's see, for example, click the, click these S to scale. Scroll down if you want like smaller toenails. Let's see, click this S S to scale. Let's see, made it smaller, then more down. As you can see, I made it. Let's see, I made it a little better. I want the finger to the palm a little bit. Okay, okay. This is not a foot tutorial. Do slash on the numpad. Now the feet are back. We're just going to affect, uh, do the shoes a little more. About like barely like that. And it looks good. Take time to tweak it the way you want it. Now to do some small things, make sure to click that. Uh, select that. Alt S. Me, a little bit more curved. Oh, right there, it's up to you. Pull this one in more and click this S Y zero. It's up to you. S Y zero. I just want it perfect in that way. Click these. Shift E to the max. All right. Make sure in object mode, right click, shade smooth. Then after that, go back in and make sure on edge select, Alt, click the whole thing. Make sure this is selected and we're going to do alt. We should have the whole thing selected first. Alt N, reset victors. All right. Then you do control E, clear seam, control E, clear sharp. All right. Then alt and click this. Then control E, mark sharp. So I click this up here. We made it sharp. You see? And do the same thing here. Just click, then left click. So make sure you have just all of it if you want to. Then control E, mark sharp. All right, make sure you have everything selected you want to select it. And you click this. And now it's sharp. It gives a cool natural look to it. 
Now, if you want to, you can also you sharpen these and click this. Control E, mark sharp if you want to. For me, I still like it for it to be smooth. Then, yeah, that's how you do that and take your time to make it look good.